I'm Holly, Vance's wife. Oh. Well, okay, uh, you guys need a marriage counselor, you know, I have um, 30 minutes of experience, um, you know, I'll do it for free. <laughs> Hey, 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 what's going on, you sexy bees, buddy? We're here and welcome back to another episode of Fallout 3. So right now we are still doing the side quest and we're looking for Ian. And now we're in the subway and um, I don't think this guy is an enemy. Hello there, buddy. Whoa, whoa, slow down there. This area is off limits to everyone but the family. Where the hell do you think you're going? Oh, you know, get out, get the fuck out of my way. You know, I got some important things to do. <laughs> All right, let's see. Speech 25%. Oh, that's not that good. I, I really need to get by you. It's important to find what I'm looking for. And I'm sorry, what could I do with all these spare caps, huh? Wink, wink. <laughs> and just exploring, sorry. And I'm not telling you Jack now, let me get down by. And uh, hang on in a second, I have a letter for Ian West from his sister. Alright, so let's do this 25%, that's one out of four chances. We have a good chance of winning. I don't care what you need, this place is off limits and that's that. Alrighty, let's see, um, oh okay, hang on a second, I got a letter for Ian. Oh, the new kid? Yeah, Vance said we should be expecting someone soon. Uh-huh. You can head on in, but I would speak to Vance first if I was you. You can find him on the mezzanine overlooking the common area. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Wow, that didn't... Uh, I, I first thought that this guy was hostile. I thought he was an enemy. But yeah, alright, what is this place? This lovely hole in the ground is Moresti, the headquarters Moresti? of the family. Alright, when I think of Moresti, I think of like um that, that, that car, that race car. What the hell is it called? A Murata or Murad? Fast grit, whatever. Uh, tell me about the family. We are a badass gang, and we don't take shit from nobody. We also <laughs> don't like nosy <laughs> assholes who creep around asking too many stupid questions. I'm the ultimate badass. It kind of reminds me of um, the Marines in the movie Aliens with the Xenomorph, the aliens. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright, I have to go now. Just remember, I got my eyes on you. We all do. Oh, I think the car is called Maserata or something. Oh, come on, pay more attention to what you're doing. Hey, come down, buddy. Alright, let's go. I don't think I could loot anything, otherwise, he's probably gonna shoot me with his funny looking pistol. Oh, there's a radio. Oh yeah, I don't think I can turn off the radio because it's red. If I do, he'll probably shoot me. And that would be bad. Alright, is there anything around here that I should loot? No. Alright, let's go up here. Oh, Mirusky. God, I hate those radios. It's, it's like a ticking time bomb for copyright infringement. Alright, what do we have here? What kind of crazy people we gotta kill? All right, let's take a look down this way. All right, is there any loot here? You you know, usually in games they usually put like good loot at one of these um, ends of the tunnels or whatever of a dungeon to make you explore the whole place. But I guess not. Now I don't think we have to worry about any traps here because it uh, looks like you know this is a welcome spot. All right, is there any traps here? Now, there is some kind of a gas right here. I don't know if you guys could see it. But I don't think there's anything in here. Unfortunate. Okay, well, that's a waste of time. <laughs> We're going to the metro. Yeah. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Alright. Ooh, what the hell is that? Oh, just rubbish. <laughs> hey, Dad. I, I, it'll, it'll be funny if we meet Dad here and he's like part of the cult. All right, I can't loot this. Hey guys, what's going on, Carl? Well, well. <laughs> I haven't had a customer in a while. Mm. Last one I had was a bit chewy. Know what I mean? No. All right, let's see. I'm looking for Ian West. Have you seen him? And uh, can I see what you have for sale? And what is this place? Okay, let me see. Let's go. Uh, I'm looking for Ian West. Let's get straight to the point. Do I look like a fucking babysitter? Maybe. I don't know where he I, is. I, I'd hire you. Even if I did, I wouldn't tell you anyway. <laughs> yeah, come on. Oh, Black Widow. Hey, hot stuff. Oh, man. Oh, why don't you tell me how I could see Ian? Oh, yes. There may be something in it for you. Oh. 
Now that's more like <laughs> I finally won't have to pay for it anymore. <laughs> ah, hell, here's the password to the Pipsqueak's room. Come back and see me after you talk to him. Oh, yeah, I'll come back to see you. Yeah, sure, all right. Is there anything else you could tell me about Ian West? Ian, 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 is that all you've got to say? Yeah, I, that's Jeez. all I say. And if we make sweet, sweet love, then I'll, pro I'll probably yell, Ian, oh... All right, let's see. Can I see what you have for sale? If your caps are good, you can buy whatever you like. Mm. Beat standing there drooling all over the merchandise. Oh, I sure you'd like me drooling all over your merchandise. All right, let's see what do we have. Damn, look at all these ammo. All right, but the thing is, I don't want to get this ammo because I don't... <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, shit, look at that. Oh, I want an assault rifle. All right, what else do we have here? Oh, you know what? The the more important thing is that we gotta sell some stuff. So let's sell this ashtray. Um, Mac uh, let's see. Should I sell the beer? Yeah, let's. Nah. Let, oh, the cigarettes. Let's sell these. Bam, 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 bam. Now I like I like the cigarettes. They they sell for a good amount of price, but then they're kind of light. Okay, is there anything around here? No, no, no. Plunger, sell that. We don't need that. Now, I don't think we need the armor because they're kind of low defense. They don't have any stats, so we're gonna get rid of that. They're probably pretty heavy anyways. Uh, tin can. Uh, Wastelander. Um, agility 1. And what the hell is END? END plus 1. Oh, Endurance. Oh, I see what that is. Um, yeah, let's get rid of it. I don't think it's worth it. Stupid radio in the background. Alright, let's sell this. Exit. Alright, let's see what the guy is selling. I want to make sure that we have a good weapon. Sugar bombs. Oh, damn. Sugar bombs for seven. Uh, I think I'll buy that. Uh, stim pack. We have plenty at the moment. Sledgehammer. Hmm. Chop and shell. Oh, shit. Look at all these armor. Whoa. 14. Oh, man. That's so good. Two. Damn, I want that. Sneak five. Oh, man. I think we're, we're going to get one of these. Uh, weight 20, though. That's heavy. All right. Let's just get it. You only live once, guys. You only live once. Alright, okay, what I want to do is I want to go and get ourselves an assault rifle. Ooh, laser rifle. Oh, nine damage, that kind of sucks. Oh, la oh, the leather armor is even more defense. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm having just so much fun shopping for stuff. Okay. Alright, let's just go all the way back uh, up. And we're gonna get the assault rifle, bam, and we're going to get um, all the rifle rounds. I think it uses this, right? Shit. Uh, okay, let's just get it. Except. I told right. you. A pleasure you said doing you were mumbling with about you. how you think Vance is all disappointed with your progress. All right. I knew he wasn't. Who's talking? All right, whatever. Uh, what is this place? This place is my place of business. <laughs> you want to buy something, then buy. If you want to flap your lips, take a hack. Uh, it, dep it depends. It depends on what kind of lips are you talking about. <laughs> I, I got two lips, just like I have two heads. Tell me up the family. We're the last people you want to mess with. That's for damn sure. <laughs> That's for damn for sure, man. You ain't gonna mess with us, man. We're gonna we're gonna eat your face. Say it ain't so. So I think these are like cannibals. Well, see you around, I guess. Wait, wait, wait. I I'm, you around oh, here. Justin Bieber. I thought I knew everyone in the family, but I don't recognize you. You must be one of Vance's new initiates. Oh, My yes. My name's Justin. I'm pretty new here myself. Ah, oh, yes. You look like Justin Bieber. Man, if I was a cannibal, I would eat Justin Bieber. <laughs> I'm looking for Ian West. Have you seen him? Ian? What do you want from him? You know, oh, okay, 38%. He needs to talk to someone from the outside to get some perspective. Uh, all right, let's 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 ignore everything and this is cool for this one. It's <sighs> outsiders' perspectives that drove him here in the first place. Oh, Sorry, dude. I can't really help you. All right, uh, let's see. He's needed at home. His family is dead and he doesn't belong here. Let's just tell him that his family's dead. Yes, I know. He told me. Okay. Surprised. <laughs> 
Well, Ian was there when it happened and did nothing to stop it. If you ask yourself why, the answer is obvious. Okay. He belongs with us here. He's one of us. <laughs> Don't deny him his rightful home. Well, I'm gonna ask him anyways. All right, is blah, blah, blah. Uh, I have to go now. I understand. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. All right, where are the you ladies? Got the cat. Ooh. I got the time. Oh, hey, Brianna. Well. Well, I'm surprised you don't know me. I'm Brianna. I take care of the men around here. Well, unmarried ones, anyway. Uh, oh, so married ones, uh, you don't do those? Hey, I'm a marriage counselor. Hey, that's right. Okay, yeah, that's a good thing you... <laughs> okay, I'm looking for Ian West. Have you seen him? You better not have sexed him up. Vance has him in meditation right now. Uh huh. No one's supposed to be in there. Poor, Poor kid. Poor kid. He looks like he could use another friend. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, were you like a good friend to him? Yes, you could You could be his friend. Okay, I could be his friend, and he shouldn't really be here. All right, I'll, I'll be his friend. Mm. Well, that is sweet, but Vance would kick my rather gorgeous Gorge. ass right out of here if I told you how to find Ian. Sorry. Ah, uh, come on. How about I'll give you some caps? Mm -hmm. All right. Anything else you could tell me about Ian West? Nope. Like I told you, Vance <laughs> has him in meditation right now. I know. No one's supposed to be in there. Okay. What is this place? It's the last place I ever expected to end up. I mean, look at this place. <laughs> it's so dark and dingy. Ooh. What this place needs is a lady's touch. Uh <laughs> but don't tell Vance I said that. <laughs> lady's touch, eh? All right, tell me about the family. How about just the coolest gang this side of the U.S.? <laughs> as long as we listen to Vance's rules and listen to his stuff, he lets us do pretty much whatever we want. So this is like a group of cannibals, right? So does that mean that she eats dicks? Literally? Oh, God, that's horrible. Bye, sweetie. Mm, yes, bye, sweet cakes. All right, let's go to stupid radio. I need to get away from it. Now, is that one of all the NPCs uh, that are here? All right, let's go. All right. Now, who is this? With all oh, the we have. Holly. I don't think we've been properly introduced. I'm Holly, Vance's wife. Oh. Well, okay. Uh, you guys need a marriage counselor. You know, I have um, 30 minutes of experience. Um, you know, I'll do it for free. <laughs> yes, okay. I'm looking for Ian West. Have you seen him? I'm afraid Vance has him in isolation, and there's no way I'm going to override Vance's orders. He's a good kid. I think Vance will set him along the correct path soon. Like he did for all of us. Oh, you're just denying me just because Vance is standing behind you. Okay, alright, alright. I get it, I get it. Okay, maybe it will, or maybe it's just messing him up more. And sorry, I think he needs to be with his real family. Um, yeah, it's, you know, yeah, he needs to be with his real family. Lucy, I'm home. You just don't get it, do you? <laughs> We are his real family, okay? Uh, okay, all right. Don't get mad, you know. Don't eat my face up. All right, anything else you, you could tell me about Ian West? Like I said, <laughs> he's in isolation. It's his time to meditate and reflect. Ah, okay. So what is this place? This is Moresti, the home of the family. It's the only safe place for these poor people. Oh, so it's like a little shelter, homeless shelter. All right, tell me about the family. My husband started this group not long ago. He was trying to save them from a life of hardship and ridicule. <laughs> they come from all over the wasteland now to find us and become part of the family. So, you know what? This At first I thought this was like some kind of crazy cult or something, but they seem pretty reasonable. They haven't indicated that they want to kill me yet. It was good talking to you. Oh, yes. Yes. All right, Vance. Uh, you know, I talked to your wife, Welcome and I and I think you need to divorce her. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to our home. Mm. My people call me Vance. I lead this group of weary travelers and outcasts who need a home. Mm. And to what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? Oh well, you know, I'm looking for a certain person. I need to give him his letter and maybe convince him to go home. All right, let's see. This place is very different from any other settlements I've been. And what is this place? And I think I've stumbled across the world's first underground insane asylum. No, I don't think they're crazy. They seem pretty reasonable, as I said. So yeah, this place is a little bit different. What you see before you is the last bastion of hope 
for the downtrodden and misunderstood. It is a sanctuary for the oppressed and a beacon of faith for the tyrannized. So what exactly do you do for all these people? Allow Vance to continue. Excuse me, but what all that? What does now that mean? And whoa, whoa, slow down, dear. I left my thesaurus at home. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll let you continue. I'll, I'll let you continue. We are the remnants of society, cast aside like the clean-picked bones of a hunter's feast. So you're rejects. I led my flock beneath the sun-baked sands of the wasteland to keep them safe and teach hmm. them my ways. What's your and way? Of science would call us cannibals, <gasps> eaters of human flesh. Society right. labels us as monsters, demons, and the unclean. So I was right. Oh, man. So I, I kind of figure out that they're kind of cannibals, how, because when we were talking to the merchant, it's like, oh, yeah, you know, I, 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 I ate him. <laughs> you know, okay. Speech 25%. None of this talk is necessary. I know exactly what you are. In your ways, you're... You're reforming these people? And uh, what do you mean? Wow, you're real humanitarians. So like, so what do, who they, who do they eat anyways? Do they eat each other? Hmm, okay, anyways, 25%, let's do this. Amaze <gasps> me. Never have I met a human with the gift of cognition. That Impressed, you huh? You're not gonna kill me? Tell me then, what are we? What are we? <laughs> All right, your vampires or at least your you followed your fictional tr traditions. If I said vampires and you said I was right, we'd both be crazy. And they still think you're cannibals. And I think you're a collective of seriously messed up freaks. Again, I don't want to piss them off. They're, if I do, they're probably going to kill me or something. So let's see, vampires. Do you think I believe I can turn into a bat and fly away? <laughs> of course not. Do I cast my image in a mirror? Absolutely. <laughs> now... Ask me if I believe these individuals from every corner of the wasteland need me to give them a sense of purpose and identity. I have shown these people the ways of the vampire. I've provided them shelter, organization, and a sense of belonging. Wait, 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 wait. I thought, I thought, wait. So wouldn't they be zombies, not vampires? I'm, I'm kind of confused because if you're a zombie, you would eat a living human being. And vampires, they only suck blood, but... Okay, okay, all right, all right, all right, we'll, we'll go with this. Uh, you do this by teaching them that they're mythical beings, and what you're doing is brainwashing them, and it's plain and simple, and come on, Vance, you're on a power trip. You mess with their minds. So I think he is kind of brainwashing them. It seems like these religion, these groups, they always pick on the less fortunate, and they give them hope. It's like, oh, if you worship us, oh, everything is going to be all fine and gravy, and you're going to go to paradise, and it seems like it's, like that for a lot of religion. So brainwashing them. Yes. In a way, I am brainwashing them. <laughs> I am eliminating their fears, their inhibitions, and their shame. Release I have reigned your in their inhibition. And taught them to eat not of the flesh, but to drink of the blood. What is that song? Most importantly, they have a family. <laughs> a place where their quirks are tolerated <laughs> and understood. So, it's basically a gang. Okay. So what is that song? Release your inhibition. I'm scared. What is that song, everyone? Let me know in the comment section below. Okay, I've been searching for a young man named Ian West. And what is this place? And tell me about the family. All right, Ian West. Ah, yes. My newest charge. What would you want with him? Oh, you know, I want to have some sexy time with him and, you know, show him the pleasures of uh, other flesh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, he's going to eat me, eh? <laughs> you guys know he's going to eat me out. <laughs> okay, I'll shut up. Okay, I have a letter for him from his sister. And Ian shouldn't be here. He has family that misses him. You people murder his parents. And I don't have time for this chit chat. Tell me where Ian is right now. All right, let's let's tell him about the letter. Maybe he has a heart. Then a part of his human family still remains. <laughs> Even more of a reason he needs to remain in isolation. Hey. Ian is at a critical moment in his life right now. <laughs> After all that occurred in Erafu, he is scared and confused. It would be hmm. ill-advised for me to allow you to speak to him while he decides what he wants to do. Ah, okay, let's see. Wait a minute, what happened to him? A damn advance. What did you do to him? And I don't have time for chit-chat. Tell me where Ian is now. Alright, um, what happened to him? 
Ian's hunger for flesh overwhelmed him. <gasps> it drove him to kill his parents. Plot twist. Because of my intervention that night, he stopped just short of being lost forever to his cravings for flesh. Oh. Oh. No, I didn't. Oh. It all makes sense now. Oh, man. Oh, oh man. Oh. Oh, oh man, we gotta kill Ian. Nah, I'm just kidding. All right, so you're telling me Ian is a cannibal. I am telling you, he will no longer be labeled as such. He has become one of us, a member of the family. Okay. The hunger that drives us must be kept in check. It is one of the most difficult things to teach. So what? What do you he guys lost eat? Control because no one was around to guide him. His own family was alien to him. Hmm. All right, let's see. Uh, 25%. This letter is all Ian has left of his old life. Allow me to give it to him. Your words impress me, human. Perhaps I misjudged you when we first met. <laughs> if you wish to speak to Ian, you are free to do so. Here is the code to the area in which he is meditating. Um, we got the code already, but okay. All right, sure. Is there anything else? you wish else? to speak to me again? Um, yeah, let's go. You are free to roam the common area of our home as our mm. guest. All right, so does that mean I could take your stuff? Nope. A <laughs> fry grenade. All right, all right. I'm not going to loot you because you guys are probably going to kill me because there's like six of you guys and I'm going to... Oh, you know what? Oh, let me go get my weapon. A saw rifle. Oh, man. this Your weapon is in poor condition and can do more damage if repair. You can repair items in your pit boy or visiting a vendor to repair it yourself. You need parts of... Oh. Oh, what the fuck does it look like? Oh shit, it looks like, like like an MP5 or something. Alright, uh, since it's kind of near broken, we're gonna stick with my handgun. Alright, let's go. Now, what's in here? Authorized personnel? I'm authorized, right? Now, the thing about this game is I thought- Oh, this is Vance's place. Oh, damn, fancy. Now the thing about this, I don't know if I loot something like out of sight, would they know about it? And would they kill me? Oh man, oh, this is where Vance and his wife has sexy time. Oh yeah, as a marriage counselor I think, you know, you have to have some sexy time sometimes. Just so your relationship can continue on and you know, everyone's happy, your wife is happy, you're happy. That's what I think. For a marriage to be good, you have to have sexy time once in a while, maybe like once a week or once a month. Alright, activate the Mercedes train thingy. Uh, wait, oh wait, do I have a password? Do I have it? Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Alright, so if we didn't have the password, I'm guessing we had to do the hacking thing again, but since we do, we can just unlock the security door. There we go. Now, what does this do? Activate internal security. Offline? Offline, okay. Just wondering. Okay, let's see what's in here. Nope, I cannot. Uh, oh, is that Ian right there? Oh, you son of a bitch. I finally found you. Hey, buddy. Oh, you look like a douchebag. Uh, what do you want? <laughs> oh, shit. I thought Ian was a little boy. This this motherfucker is like aged like 30, unless this is like me, like a man boy or something. I I, I imagine it was a little boy. What the hell? Alright, this is okay, this is kinda weird. Alright, I've been looking for you and you're a bitch to find and nothing. Sorry for my mistake. <laughs> uh, we're gonna leave him here. Okay, I've been looking for you. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I'm sure Evan King is pretty pissed right about now. He looks like- I bet he has the entire town out looking for me. Not really, just me. He's worse than my parents. He looks like an adult, and he has a voice that's like an adult. Wow. Talk about mismatch. Alright, I'm sorry Ian, but your parents are dead, and I'm here to take you home, Ian. And pack your shit, we're getting the fuck out of this insane asylum right now. Alright. Do you, do you guys think Ian knows that his parents is- Oh wait, he, I think he knows because when, when we talked to the, uh, the other NPCs, the NPCs were like, Oh yeah, Ian told me about it. Surprised about it? Alright, so I'm here to take you home, Ian. Home? I don't have a home anymore. I made sure of that, didn't I? 
Oh, no, I know what you did. Vance told me everything. You seem awfully troubled, Ian. What did you do? And it doesn't matter what happened in the past. And get a hold of yourself. You gotta, like, smack him in the face and whatnot. All right, um... Let's see. It doesn't matter what happened in the past. All that matters is the future. Of course it matters. The past is what's keeping me up at night. Uh, I don't... It's like a bad dream. I can see parts of it, but I don't remember what happened. Oh, come on. It's the fucking hunger. That thing that's haunted me my entire life. <laughs> Alright, okay, look, Ian, I, I know lost too. I know it hurts, but staying here isn't the answer. And I give up fine. Stay here and cry. And maybe I can help you. You know what? Let's try to relate to him. Because, well, I did lose my mom, and my dad is... You know, he ditched us, and yeah, okay. I I, I know you're lost, you're lost. There's something inside me, something completely messed up. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not mutant, disagreeing. I'm a fucking freak. <laughs> the only person I was ever able to talk to was my sister Lucy, and she's gone. Dude. No one gives a shit about me except Vance and the family. Can't you understand no, that? No, 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 we have Lucy's letter. Well, why don't we just give it to him? We'll go. All right, let's see. Speech 25%. All right, let's go home, Ian. The only way to beat your nightmare is to face them. All right, read this letter, Ian. Lucy wrote it. All right, let's let's try the twenty-five percent speech. No, I'm sorry. I'll never set foot in that place again. All right, all right, okay, fine. Read this letter, Ian. Lucy wrote it, and I bet it'll change your mind. She, she really misses being home, and she's asked about me and here a lot. Yeah, yeah. I think I had it all wrong. I shouldn't have come here. I bet Lucy is feeling just as bad as me. Mm. Please tell Vance I've made my decision. I'm going home to Arfu. <laughs> I hope to see you there as well. I'm just gonna gather my stuff together and say my goodbyes, then I'll head on back. All right, all right. Oh, man. <laughs> what? Okay, uh, all right. You gotta take your little um, beauty nap, your little cat nap. Okay, you know, instead of packing up and go. All right, let's take your bathroom because there's, there's usually like a med kit or something. Okay, I don't think there's anything in here. What? Oh, there's a gar. Oh, nope. All right, Ian, um, you know, I'll be waiting for you later, uh, so let's go. Now, the question is, uh, we have to tell Vance, huh? Hopefully he's not going to be mad and he's not going to, like, hit me or something. Okay. Hey, Vance, so, uh, where's your uh, sexy wife? Uh-oh, okay, we better talk to you before your wife comes here. I trust your talk with young Ian went well. Wait I am quite interested in learning the results of your discussion. Did he come to a decision? Damn straight he did. All right, just don't be mad. Promise me you won't be mad, Vance. All right, before we talk about Ian, there's still a matter of Arifu to discuss. And wait, what about Arifu? You just can't prey on them whenever you're hungry. And how did you know Ian was trying to decide to stay or leave? All right, all right. The family the, is attacking Arifu, so let's do that. As long as you maintain this level of civility, please proceed. Okay. Let's see, give those people a chance, they're defenseless, so 25%, alright. Oh, so it looks like we have a couple of choices. Uh, medicine, uh, vampires can drink uh, any kind of human blood, even from blood packs. Hmm. There must be an alternative source of blood for you to survive on. Ah, oh, yes, I mean, why does it have to be human blood? Okay, how can I convince you to stop preying on a Reifu, and uh, if you keep attacking a Reifu, they'll keep fighting back until everyone's dead. And there goes your source of food. All right, let's try the speech thing. And if it doesn't work, we'll try the others. In light of Fuck. your candor, all I can promise is that Arafu will no longer be a target of the family. <laughs> Beyond that, I make no such other promises. Okay, all right. So let's. Which one should we choose? Medicine or intelligence? Um. Damn. It's like. Uh, let's go with intelligence. Many years ago. I survived by drinking from fresh blood packs I recovered from hospital ruins. That is the disgusting. The problem with your idea is that these blood packs are scarce. What do you propose? Wait a second, I thought I, thought I selected the intelligence one. What the hell? Alright, whatever. Let's see, a Reifu donates blood packs and you leave the town alone. Oh, man, this is horrible. A Reifu donates blood packs and in exchange you protected them. And a Reifu will sell you blood packs and you'll leave the town alone. Oh no, I wanted to pick the animal one because I'm thinking if I picked the animal one, then they would, oh, we're gonna sacrifice a cow to you like every once in a while. This seems a little bit better. Uh, you know what? I think if we donate the blood packs in exchange for protection, wait, no, that's kind of like extortion or something. 
But then each one of the... Alright, let's uh, sell the blood packs. Although I appreciate what you are trying to do. Please oh. realize that we have no money or goods to speak of. All right. What little money Carl makes with his <laughs> shop goes to buying weapons and ammunition to protect ourselves. I am very sorry. Okay, all right. But perhaps you can make a better offer. All right, we'll, we'll do that. All right, let's uh, protect them in exchange for donation. Agreed. <laughs> Please, take this proposal to Arafu. Speak with them and then return to me with their decision. Oh, God damn it. I thank you for showing me that your kind can be trusted after all. It is a lesson I will not forget. <laughs> now, Hopefully not. What of young Ian? Tell me his decision. Alright, yeah, uh, let's see. Ian's decided to lead the family. It saddens me to lose <laughs> one of my flock, but I believe everyone has to follow their own path. See, these guys are reasonable. All I was attempting to do was guide him. Now it seems that responsibility has fallen upon you. <laughs> I hope you will be more successful. Okie doogie. I want you to take this. <laughs> Consider it as an apology to you for all the hardships Ooh. you had to endure. You're going to give me your wife? Business. Your wife? Goodbye, human. Your wife? Our time together has human. been rather <laughs> educational. All right, I get your wife. Oh, shish kebab. Oh, no, I don't want your wife. Hey, Holly. Oh, man, shake that ass. Stranger. Oh, yeah, we're not going to be strangers any longer. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, let's see. Where do we go now? Um. All right, we have to follow the arrow. Again, you guys can't see the compass. At the, it's at the bottom left hand corner. So let's make our way out of uh, the subway. Now I hope that the people in uh, Arefu is going to accept the offer so I don't have to come back. Well, actually, I'm guessing whatever they choose, I have to come back regardless. <laughs> oh man. Well, this is kind of a very interesting side story. I like it. Can we, can we steal the... Ooh, oh, toolbox. Plunger. Yeah, let's take it. Why not? Why not? <gasps> oh, sledgehammer! Damn, I can't. That's nice. Awesome. Mm -hmm. All right, limb damage count. Okay, so that's the tool tip. Oh man. So I think I mentioned that um, even doing the side quest isn't gonna help me in the main quest. It's not like it's gonna get me like. It's not like higher levels. It's gonna help me beat the, the more difficult monsters. <laughs> All right, it's nighttime. All right, let me check out where we are. Data. Oh man, we are all the way over here, and we gotta head right here. Move it. Actually, we we could fast travel, huh? Oh yes, we can. All right, let's just uh, fast travel there. I, I, I don't want to walk. Screw it. Screw it. Because if I walk everywhere, as I said, it's gonna take like a long ass time for me to uh, finish the series. Uh, so I think this is the first time for you guys seeing a Fallout in nighttime. Ah, yes. I did download a mod for the street lights to make it a little bit more diffuse, like the lighting of the... It's not like a, a cone of light, but it's kind of like it diffuses and it fuses out. It looks much more better. Hmm. Alright, anyways, I think this is a good place to pause. I better hope you six piece enjoy. And if you did, make sure to bang that like and subscribe button. Bang it good. And uh, what do you guys think about the side quest so far? I mean, I, did, I wonder how many side quests there are. That's kind of interesting. I'm thinking of doing all of, the, of, all of the side quests. If you guys are interested in watching it, I'm thinking of doing all the side quests as well. Especially after I'm done with the main quest and whatnot. But anyways, I hope you six piece enjoy. And if you did, make sure to bang that like and subscribe button. Bang it good. And uh, make sure to follow me on Twitter. Uh, join my Steam group. Uh, Tumblr and whatnot that's very good especially since I am doing a Fallout 4 um, contest and you might get some hints and uh, yeah anyways I'm Vedua stay sexy my friends stay sexy